Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 1 over x whole squared minus x plus 1 over x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 1. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. By using this power rule a over b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n divided by b to the power n. This expression will become x plus 1 whole squared divided by x squared minus this expression will become x plus 1 whole squared divided by x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 1. Now, from here we take the LCM of this x squared and this x minus 1 whole squared. The LCM is x squared times x minus 1 whole squared. And we divide this LCM by this uh, denominator x squared. This x squared get cancelled. We multiply this uh, x plus 1 whole squared by this x minus 1 whole squared. x plus 1 whole squared times x minus 1 whole squared. This minus will come here and when divide this uh, LCM by this uh, x minus 1 whole squared, this x minus 1 whole squared get cancelled. So, we multiply this uh, x plus 1 whole squared by this x squared. x plus 1 whole squared times x squared is equal to 1. Now, if we multiply both sides by this denominator x squared times x minus 1 whole squared, then this implies that x plus 1 whole squared times x minus 1 whole squared minus x plus 1 whole squared times x squared is equal to x squared times x minus 1 whole squared. Now, from the left hand side, we can factor out this uh, x plus 1 whole squared. So, x plus 1 whole squared as common factor and in bracket left, in bracket left this uh, x minus 1 whole squared minus this x squared. In bracket left x minus 1 whole squared minus x squared is equal to this expression x squared times x minus 1 whole squared. Next x plus 1 whole squared times we expand this expression this will become x squared minus 2 times x plus 1 minus this x squared x squared is equal to x squared times x minus 1 whole squared. Now, this uh, negative x squared will be cancelled out with this positive x squared and uh, this expression will become 1 minus 2 times x times we expand this expression x plus 1 whole squared this will become x squared plus 2 times x plus 1 is equal to x squared times we expand this expression this will become x squared minus 2 times x plus 1 now, we multiply this uh, 1 minus 2x by this expression. So, 1 times x squared x squared and 1 times plus 2x plus 2 times x and 1 times plus 1 plus 1. Now, negative 2x times x squared negative 2x cubed negative 2x times plus 2x negative 4x squared negative 2x times plus 1 negative 2x 
is equal to this uh, x squared times x squared will become x to the power 4 and x squared times the negative 2x negative 2x cube and x squared times plus 1 plus x squared. Now this uh, negative 2x will be cancelled out with this positive 2x and this x squared will be cancelled out with this x squared this negative 2 x cubed will be cancelled out with this negative 2 x cubed. So, at left hand side we are left with 1 minus 4 x squared is equal to at right hand side we are left with this x to the power 4. Now, this expression can be written as x to the power 4 is equal to 1 minus 4 x squared. Now, we move this uh, negative 4 x squared to the left hand side, then this equation will become x to the power 4 plus 4 x squared is equal to 1. Now, we want to make this expression at the left hand side a perfect square according to this uh, algebraic identity a squared plus uh, 2 a b plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. So, we write this uh, x to the power 4 as x squared whole squared and this uh, plus uh, 4 x squared can be written as uh, plus 2 times x squared times 2. It means uh, to make this a perfect square we add square of these two. So, we add plus uh, 2 squared at left hand side and to balance this we add 2 squared at the right hand side. Now, by using this algebraic identity this expression at the left hand side will become x squared plus 2 whole squared is equal to 1 plus 2 squared is 5. Now, if we take the square root of both sides, then this implies that x squared plus 2 is equal to plus minus root 5. And we move with this plus 2 to the right hand side, then x squared is equal to plus or minus root 5 minus 2. It means uh, x squared is equal to positive root 5 minus 2 and x squared is equal to negative root 5 minus 2. Now, if we take a square root of both sides of this equation, this implies that x is equal to plus or minus square root of root 5 minus 2. And if we take square root of both sides of uh, this equation, then this implies that uh, x is equal to plus or minus square root of negative root 5 minus 2. Next, x is equal to plus or minus square root of this uh, negative root 5 minus 2 can be written as uh, positive root 5 plus 2 times negative 1. X, x is equal to plus or minus this uh, square root of uh, root 5 plus 2 times uh, negative 1 can be written as square root of root 5 plus 2 times square root of negative 1 and this will become x is equal to plus or minus square root of root 5 plus 2 times this square root of negative 1 is i. So, from this equation we get two values of x, x 1 is equal to positive square root of root 5 minus 2. 
and x2 is equal to negative square root of root 5 minus 2. And from this equation we get the third value of x, x3 is equal to positive square root of root 5 plus 2 times i and x4 is equal to negative square root of root 5 plus 2 i. So, these are the four solutions of this equation.